Hello everyone, this is Stephanie with Photography World and very quickly today I'm going to show you how to use our buttercup backdrop. Alright, so when you get your product and you open it up, it's going to be a Photoshop file. So go ahead and bring it into Photoshop. I have also included the individual layers for you if you don't have Photoshop. That way you can use whatever your favorite program is to edit with this. Um, but for Photoshop, when you open this up, you're going to see uh, your foreground layer is going to be on top. And this one is just, here I'll turn off the backdrop so you can see, it's just the flowers that are going to go in front of your subject. And then on the bottom you have our backdrop. Um, so you want to put your image somewhere in between. I've put this folder here for you to kind of help make it a little easier. It says put your image here and there's a blank layer inside of it. So just click the blank layer and then go to your file explorer and grab the image of your subject. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and drag it right on top of Photoshop and then let go. So you can grab the corner of your image and just drag it down or up to resize it however you'd like. I think I'm going to go that high. And I'm going to tuck both feet into the grass. Probably go there and click the check mark. Alright, so now I'm going to right click on the layer with my subject. I'm going to click rasterize layer from the pop-up menu. And then I'm going to come down here to properties. If you don't see this, you can go up to window and then down to properties. And you'll see it that way. So um, click on properties, come all the way to the bottom. And then you have two options. You can do remove background or select subject. I like select subject because if you have a lot of crazy hair or fuzzy clothes or something, it's easier to mask out. So once your subject is selected, come up here and click on the marquee tool. And then you'll see this button at the top that says select and mask. You can click on that and it'll take you into this um, refine edge. And you're going to click this Refine Edge Brush tool. I'm going to zoom in, so I'm going to hold down Control and Space Bar, and I'm going to click on my left mouse button and hold it down and drag to the right to zoom in, or to the left to zoom out. Okay. You can hold down Space Bar, too, and, uh, and click and drag with your mouse to kind of move the image around. All right, so once you get... Um, and he doesn't actually need his hair refined, but you might, so I'm just going to go through it anyway. Once you click this Refine Edge Brush tool, you're going to just drag it around the hair. Um, don't, you, know, you don't want to make this too big. If it's too big, you're going to get wonky results. And too small, you might not get all of your hair. So, got to find that, that Goldilocks setting. <laughs> and then go around the hair. And like I said, he didn't really need it, so some of it, you know, it got confused and added some of the backdrop back in there, but we'll erase that when we get out of this tool. I'm going to get this little area in the suspenders. down here by his arm, a little bit by his foot, that didn't really help him, I hit control Z to undo that, but overall it looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and output to layer mask, and then click OK, and then while I have this mask selected, it's a little um, thumbnail with a black background, I'm going to hit the B on my keyboard for brush, and I'm going to make it smaller with the bracket keys. I want to make sure it's a nice soft brush too. Hardness set to zero. And I'm just going to go over that little bit sticking out with a black brush. If there's something you wanted to bring back, you just switch it to a white brush. That looks pretty good. Like I said, there was a little spot on his foot, but I'm kind of nitpicking here. I don't think anyone would notice this. <laughs> Oh, see, here's a little bit on his toe, so I'm going to switch to white and kind of bring back the tip of his toe. Toes. Okay. So while we have the brush selected and the, the mask, I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to black. You can hit X on your keyboard to flip between the two colors, black and white, and that'll make it quicker. Anyway, and so I'm just going to brush down here, hide that foot. And, um, and then I'm going to add a light levels layer above him. So if you come down here to the adjustments, click levels. I'm going to clip it with this little box. So now you see the arrow going from this layer to the one with our subject. Which is just what you want. So now it's only going to affect his color. 
And I'm just going to drag that middle slider left a little bit and his output highlights in a bit. Maybe not quite so much there. And that's it. Now this was shot right at, um, kind of right at, at golden hour, which is really golden 10 minutes for us. <laughs> So it was really close to sunset and it was getting very dark very quickly. So um, the kind of subject that you put into this image is going to look better if it's similar in lighting. So if you have a lot of light on your subject or rim light or, um, you know, super bright highlights, it's, it's going to stick out and it's not going to look very good. So you want to try to shoot your subject in, in really good shade or on a really cloudy day or like we did right next to sunset you know and and that way you've got similar lighting and you won't have to do so much in Photoshop to make it match um, but one other thing I do want to mention as well is this layer up here the foreground layer with the flowers in it like I said it's it's doesn't span the whole um, image it's you know probably a third of it so you can move this you can move it left or right if your subject's kind of off-center a little bit or if you just don't like the grass that's poking up and you want to do a different part of it that's fine too so you can move it left or right and I've left a mask here on it so that it'll be easy for you to kind of clean up because if you move it for example all the way over here <clears throat> which you might want to do like if you have a subject that has or if you have multiple subjects in your image for example and they go all the way across the frame then you might want grass uh, flowers over on this side too Plus it kind of looks weird just to have it off center. So to do that, I would just duplicate it, control J, and drag it over so that you have two of them. And then I would go in here to the mask, grab a brush, nice soft round brush, and then just kind of soften it right there at the edge. And this one right here, see where it's, it's the grass is darker underneath. So we're gonna just soften it a little bit there to make it blend in a bit better. Um, so that way you can kind of move it back and forth to, to fit your image, where your, your subject is, and what you need for yours. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to this one. If you have any, any questions or if you need any help, let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.